What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of Crystoria video. So, we have the new raid event live. It is a limited raid. Um, I definitely wanted to make this video sooner than later for those who don't actively look at the news. This Lindworm Pyro raid is the new thing to be able to do. Um, it only lasts three days, and I think this is probably how they're going to handle it. You know, maybe like twice, maybe three times a month. Uh, I could see us getting these of different elements to get these Ascension Board materials because what these materials are actively used for, if you aren't, if you don't have a level 100 or a max level character, you won't know. Oh, well, there you go. My guild just ranked up. How do you like that? Um, if you don't have a max level character, you will not know um, what an Ascension Board is. And I've gone over it in a couple of videos, but let me just go over it real quick here. So let's go to Lloyd real quick. You go to Ascend. This is the Ascension Board. Now, this is going to be very grindy, especially this early in the game, because, you know, obviously we don't have super decked out teams of every color. I mean, even just looking at my, because obviously the only SR I have leveled up um, is my Dezel down here because I need at least one wind unit since I don't have any wind SSRs. But let's just filter for SSRs real quick. I have two fire, two earth, one water, three light, and two dark. So until I at least have a full four, because ideally I want to have a full four of every color, and I want at least one of those four to be a healer. Definitely having a healer on a team will uh, help with the longevity of how you know long your team lives um which makes me pretty set on light um jude and miller are great um uh, milla is more um she's more damage heavy than jude jude's just kind of like a. I want to say he's well-rounded because honestly he's kind of on the weaker side but um Definitely, if I can just get one more unit on that, maybe like another attacking unit since Jude's kind of more support. Um, I think that'd be pretty good. And then obviously none of the other colors I have right now I currently have uh, a healer. So it's going to be one of those waiting games right now. And I'm pretty much at the point right now where I'm going to be waiting to see how they handle filling out the banners later on. Like is each banner going to have its own specific pool or are we just going to be adding units to the general pool as time goes on? You know, like with a game like Asteria, um, I don't really know that they really add to the general pool anymore. It's just kind of the new units and then the regular uh, five stars that are currently in the game. Um, I'm not really sure how much they add to that. And then obviously with a game like Rays. Um, you have a specific pool of stuff that you're summoning for each banner, but that's an equipment gotcha, so that makes a little more sense with that. Now, for non-tails, but still kind of Bandai, I would like to see this game kind of go down the route of uh, SAO Rising Steel, where every single unit gets put in the general pool after a certain point. You know, maybe they won't do it immediately, so like right now, we might, for the first like four or five banners, we might have the same starting pool. But maybe after that, you know, let's say at the beginning of September, for example, maybe we see, you know, the Vague and Kanono that are currently on the banners right now. Maybe we start to see them on uh, banners as well. But I'm getting a little sidetracked there. Um, this is about the raid event. But my main point with this is that this is hard. This is very, very hard, especially if you don't have water units. Um... And really, you're only going to have an easy time if you have, like, full level 100 water units, like, fully decked out water units. It's still not even going to be that easy. Um, you're pretty much at the mercy, and we're going to hop in here just to kind of showcase it because I have one of these gems available. You're pretty much at the mercy of uh, who decides to help you and if their teams are useful or not. I've started to make teams, you know, at least naming them so I can start to get ready for full teams as time goes on. But, um, yeah, so you need these crystals. Uh, obviously, the smaller crystals are for the lower stuff, so, like, the 2% buffs. Uh, you can get one for attack, uh, HP, defense, etc., etc. Uh, we can look at it even more once we're done here. I don't think we're going to be able to complete this in this video, uh, unless we get lucky to uh, get a lot of people join us. But I will at least showcase what this looks like. Um, so, 
this event is different than the uh, fair one as it's not a story thing. It's literally just you got a very hard quest and then you've got the very hard raid. So, uh, yeah, we're going to request aid immediately. Hopefully there will be some people that will be willing to hop in and help. I haven't been super lucky with that. But uh, now we're just going to start smacking this guy. And I only have two water units, so this isn't uh, the best. As you can see, his bar is barely even moving at all. Um, so, yeah, stuff like this. Like, only the super whales are going to be dealing with this stuff this early on. And even still, there's not a full team of water SSRs that you can even run. You've got this Kanono. You've got Aegis. You've got Asbel. And you've got oh well you, you have you have a full four and you have Rita so there are four SSRs so only like the whales that have actually pulled all four maybe have multiple dupes in and because uh, I have seen people who have whaled for max um, uh, max dupes already I've seen people with max dupes of every unit currently in the game which I can't even imagine how much money that will get there we go we lost Luke already this is how hard this guy hits um. But yeah, so that's pretty much uh, what we are looking at here. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to be a while before we see some, like... And there goes Estelle right there after she just healed herself. Um, let's smack with both love beats. There. Okay, so yeah, my main point is for casual players or even someone like me, I've spent, you know, not really that much... Uh, in this game, I've spent maybe, I want to say 40 bucks at this point, probably total. Um, this isn't going to be something that I'm going to be able to do for a while, because I, I only have one level 100 unit, and I only have water one water unit, and if you count the friend unit you can bring with you, that's only two. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I just got wiped out completely right there. And uh, I can give my cheer on right there. And uh, I'm pretty much at the mercy of waiting for this to refill. So pretty much my advice for this is not, you know, do this, set this up, come back every like six minutes to see if you can get people to join in with you. And then just spam these. Just join. You can join five at a time. There's only actually five active right now, which means there's not a lot of people... Uh, doing the event that's probably because no one wants to deal with this right now um which obviously is not <laughs> the best but um so yeah that's pretty much what i would recommend jump in as many of these aid ones as you can do the damage you can do hopefully you get lucky with the drops or i'm able to complete this i can't do it without dying uh, with a couple characters, but I can complete it. If you also want to gather emblems through that, that's also an option as well. Um, and of course, the level 1 is going to be easier than the level 2 if you want to do that. Um, well, you need the you need the orbs for doing the first one to get to the second one. And now, just quickly, let's go over... Where is it? Da, 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 da. Oh, right. I'm just, like, thinking where everything is. Um, so let's go here. You scroll all the way down. You got Hero Emblem Exchange. And you can exchange for these with the uh, crystals you get. So I've actually got a few of these. Um, obviously, for the higher ones, you are going to need a lot. But I don't think these crystals will... Or these emblems and crystals will expire. It says monthly. So what that probably means is... There will be multiple attempts to get these hero crystals and we'll be able to exchange at various points when we get different types. Um, if we get a wind one, I'll definitely be more set than I am with this one because I do have two... I have I have two Earth, I have Lloyd, and I have Crest. And then I can bring a friend uh, Earth unit, which will definitely help with that. Um, same thing with fire. If we got a... Uh, if we got an earth one, I think I, I'm trying to remember the typings correctly. Yeah, if we get if we get a fire one, I'll also be set, and then light, dark as well. I guess I'd kind of be set, even though it's a double-edged sword right there. Um, but overall, it wouldn't be that bad. So let's go back to Lloyd, and let's just show what some of these materials are you need to get. So 
I need one more crystal shard and I need some temporal shards, but overall the materials you need for these aren't too bad until you start to get to the higher ones where you need like a bunch of these crystals, which still isn't that bad once you're here. Like I feel like once we're four, five, six months into the game and we get these raids, most players who have been playing since day one will find a much easier time doing this, but getting one of these raids, you know, less than two weeks into the game launching is definitely going to be hard unless you've been someone who's been grinding even harder than I have. And I'm pretty much on this game most of the day each day. Um, you know, I'll sometimes take a break to work on my other gacha games, but for the most part, I've been no lifing this game like no tomorrow. As you can see, I'm already ranked 40. Um, so there is that. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this raid down below. Let me know how you guys have been doing. Like I said, it might be hard to set up your own raids, but for the most part, you should be fine, you know, joining other people's raids, doing a little bit of damage, and then popping out and just waiting for them to get cleared and uh, getting your rewards. Uh, unless you're someone who's been using up all your BP, which you can see I have not, because sometimes I just find it tedious to hop into those raids. Um, raids will definitely need an overhaul later on. Um, but the game is brand new, so I'm not expecting anything immediate. But that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.